it's Friday, it's been a long hard week, uh, no time off, uh, but hopefully we can get the windows in this weekend. Well, the plan today is to cut the old windows down, act as templates and hopefully cut the new windows out. Oh, well, let's see if we can cut them out. We do have a spare sheet, but I prefer to keep it as a spare sheet. Unfortunately, everything's straight apart from the corners. I'll do that with the grinder. Implement of destruction. Oh, well we've rounded the edges. It's going to sit a little bit proud. It already seems warmer in here. Let's mark where we're going to cut the masking out for the protective paint. Been wiped with alcohol, sanded, and now plastic adhesion for later. So we've traced around the second window. This one's the starboard side, so we'll cut it out.
Okay, once again, marking where we're going to put the protective paint on. way brighter in the picture than it does in real life but uh, it's all cut out and the masking sprayed and this one is also done uh, making a start on masking it's pretty hard because it's getting quite dark despite what you would believe in the pictures well, I really can't see to do any more masking so I can wait till tomorrow so certainly we should have windows back in tomorrow and that will be fantastic Saturday morning we are going to put the windows in another heavy frost we've taped around the rebate and the salty old sea dogs helping well that one's all taped it's a beautiful day we had uh, a polar blast over the country start of the week uh, frosts uh, but uh, mostly beautiful, clear days for the last few days. Uh, we use these 3M 6mm dots as spacers. Uh, I've cut them in half. So I've got twice as many and uh, they're flexible so they won't put any stress on the acrylic. Uh, so much easier <laughs> with uh, this corking gun. We'll go to lunch and uh, let the stuff set off a bit before we pull the masking off and a bit later on we'll pull out the, the washers and screws 
and uh, finish the backfill. Well, I can't remove the outside masking until it's uh, adhered enough to take the compression washes out, but we can certainly do the inside. Uh, we're taking the truck with a pile of stuff in the back to go over and have a look at see make, about making a start on the mast. you going to do for the mast? We'll take the halyards off, oh. think about starting uh, sanding it, take the tough track off. So Jerry's made all the new stays using most of the old rigging screws but uh, unfortunately he's put them back on uh, which was not what was wanted. Right, we're going to remove the tough track. It just slides down past the gooseneck. Well, we've taken all the stays off, all the unscrewable mask gear is off apart from the winches. Just had a 30 second experimental sand, so it sands quite well. So, apart from the fact it's a big area, it shouldn't be too bad. Well, the big covers are off for the moment. Sunday, it's another stunning uh, blue sky, but uh, heavy dew overnight. I'm sure some frost somewhere. And uh, we'll start on the mast, I think, as the first project. Well, Granddad suggested I just take the boat over. Not entirely practical, always. Uh, evidence of the very heavy dew. First thing we'll tidy up this area. Well, it's 3.30, we've sanded the whole side, this side of the mast. Granddad's de-dusting and we'll put some epoxy primer on.
uh, running out of daylight but managed to do the backfill bits that still need to be done and also on here 